Where will we go? Who will we be? What will we do? Who will we see? It sure will be fun. That's everything. I'm going to donate these to the nursery school. Wait, this is my ninth favorite teddy bear. I need to keep him. But you never play with it. And I love this shaky thing. We can't give it away. Or this plastic orange. Or this puppet. Or this stick. Or, or this, this giraffe. giraffe. <sighs> How about we make up a story about this giraffe, huh? All right. And what should we call it? The giraffe who kept everything. Ha, ha, ha. Once upon a time, there was a giraffe who never threw anything away. Like... His old socks. Ooh, I really should wash these. And all his old toothbrushes. Oh, the memories of, uh, brushing teeth? And even all his leftover pizza boxes. You never know when you might need a flat square box. Then one day, he got the job of his dreams. Yes! I'm going to the big city to be a big pilot and fly the big planes. Time to pack and move. I guess I'm going to need some movers with a big truck. A really big truck. We'll pack his things in no time. Go, go Katie, 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 let's go! The Mighty Movers at your service. Hi, guys. Here, you can start with this box. Uh, uh, what's inside? Uh, rocks? No, not rocks. Pebbles. All the lovely pebbles I ever found. Three pianos? I might learn one day. The packing went on and on and on. And on and on. And on and on. Whew. That's everything from the house. Yep. The rest is in the garage. Oh. Oh. And so later, a lot later, the packing was done and they drove to the city, to Giraffe's new home. Um, I don't think we're gonna fit all your stuff in there. Yeah, it might be a little tight. Oh no, there's no room left for me inside there. And that's barely half your stuff. Oh, what am I going to do? You need to get rid of some of this. Oh, but, oh, I suppose I could get rid of this thimble and this pebble. Oh, that's not gonna be enough, is it? No! But how do I even start? What can I do with all of this? You thinking what I'm thinking? I think so. These things you need to throw away. These things can be recycled. And these things will make other folks happy. Pebbles? Oh, yeah! I could use these in my new dam. Thanks! Ace, I can add these to my pizza box collection. They don't even make this model anymore. And soon Giraffe had a lot less stuff and enough room to live. I feel like a new giraffe. I feel lighter than air. Giraffe felt better knowing his stuff wasn't clutter anymore, but being enjoyed by others. Thanks, you guys. Great story, Mom. Yeah, you're right. We should give all of this to the nursery school. We don't play with it anymore. And it'll make someone very happy. Oh, but maybe we'll keep the giraffe. Oh, and we can't give that away. You wore it when you were babies. Oh, and Mom! Mom. <laughs> All right, time for bed, kittens. Aw, if we were grown-ups, we could stay up late. That would be so much better than being a kid. 
Wouldn't it be great if there was a machine that could let you change who you are? Hey, why don't we make up a bedtime story about that? Yeah! And I know just what we'll call it. The Changeinator. <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time, there was an inventor who invented all sorts of things, like a machine... That would tickle you! <laughs> and another that could... Eat your vegetables for you! But his greatest invention was the Changeinator, which could change you into whatever you wanted to be. Yes! Ah, it's finished. Now I just need a couple of guinea pigs. We can be guinea pigs. Or regular pigs. Or aardvarks. Or anything. Go, go kitty kitties, kitties, let's go! Hi. We'll be your guinea pigs. But actually, we prefer to be bats. Great! Yeah! Bats can stay up all night. And fly wherever they want. Then bats it is. Put these on. If you decide you don't like being bats, call out Changeinator, and you'll get sent right back here. That'll never happen. Ready? Ready! Wow, we're really bats. And we're really flying. In the middle of the night. Baddies, dinner! Just in time. I'm hungry. Me too. You're in luck. I made your favorite. What's that? Bugs. What else? Yuck! yuck. What do you mean, yuck? Bats love bugs. Not this bat. Changeinator! What? You didn't like being bats? The flying was amazing. But eating bugs? That's gross. Well, would you like to be something else instead? How about fish? Yeah, it'll be awesome to swim underwater. Then fish it is. Ready? Ready. Wow, swimming's even better than flying. <laughs> Your bubble looks like a crab. How about this one? <laughs> a turtle! How about this? Shark! No! Duck! No! No, kid duck! A shark! Ah! Changeinator! Hey, I just cleaned that. I don't want to be a fish. I want to be... a skunk. Then skunk it is. You! You stink! I want to be a porcupine! Then porcupine it is! Ow! That hurt! Sorry! I want to be a snake! Then snake it is! Ah! I want to be a tyrannosaurus! Wait! There's only enough changeinator juice for one more change! Whatever you become next, that's when you'll stay forever! We want to be kittens. Ah, good choice. Kittens it is. And so Kit and Kate turned back into kittens and landed safely in their own beds. Their warm, comfy beds. Yeah. Sure you don't want to switch places with me? I'll go to sleep, and you can stay up late to do the laundry and dishes. Sounds really fun, Mom. But we'll just dream about it instead. <laughs> <laughs> what should we do now, kittens? I vote we take a nap. <sighs> a nap? I want to make up a story. Me too. Well, that's two votes for a story and just one for a nap. So, story it is. What should it be about? A giant with three eyes. No, with three heads. Who never agree. Agreed. And I know just what to call it. Three who never agree. <laughs> <laughs>
Once upon a time, there was a giant with three heads named Boris, Morris, and Horus. And they could never agree on anything. Let's take a tricycle ride. I don't want to. I want to clip our toenails. Well, we don't. Hmm. All right, we, we can, can make, make a spaghetti, spaghetti cake. No, I want us to catch a dust ball on our tongues. Well, we don't. Hmm. All, All right, right, let's, let's watch, watch the news, news on TV. TV. I don't want to. I want to listen to the news on the radio. Well, well we don't. don't. Hmm. And because they couldn't agree on how to get the news, the giant never found out that flying in outer space, there was a problem, a giant problem, a meteor made of... Cabbage! No, ice cream! You're both right, cabbage ice cream. And it was headed straight for their house. Are they gonna find out before it's too late? Not unless somebody goes and tells them. That can be us. Yeah, we better hurry. Go, kitty kitties, let's go. Horace. Boris. Morris. How are you? No time to explain. Look. A meteor is headed right toward your house. Run. We're going to die. We're going to die. Stop! You have to calm down and figure out what to do. What can we do? You can move your house. Yeah, yeah we, we have, have to, to move. move. I agree entirely. We have to move. Wow, we all want the same thing. Put it there. You all agree. Great. Well, let's, let's move east to Stinky Forest. Forest. East? No. Let's move west to Mosquito Lake. West? Yes. Then, then we're, we're not, not moving, moving anywhere. anywhere. Me neither. <laughs> you guys, uh, guy, which is it? Guy. No, guy. There's no time to disagree. Look. Ice, Ice cream. cream. Yum. Yum. Looks like cabbage to me. No, it's the meteor. Guys, there's one vote for Mosquito Lake and two votes for Stinky Forest. Looks like Stinky Forest is the winner. No fair. I'm not going. Does anyone want to change their vote? Like in the next few seconds? Well, we could visit Mosquito Lake every summer. Yes, Morris. That's when the mosquitoes are really biting. Hmm. Please hurry. Well, OK. That's how we voted. Oh, how stinky. I vote we eat this ice cream. I agree. Me too! And every summer, the giants moved their house to Mosquito Lake when the bugs were really biting. Oh, ow, 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 ow. That's a great story, Grandpa. Now I vote for a nap. Meow, too. Nap? I want to play tic-tac-toe. Sorry, Grandpa. That's two votes for a nap and one for tic-tac-toe. The nap wins. Well, OK. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my party was so much fun. How long until my next birthday? Well, a year. How long is a year? Like forever. Actually, it's 365 days. Oh, that's so long. How long now? It's still 365 days. Oh, I wish I could have a birthday every day. Yeah, me too. With a party every day. Fun. That's a great idea for a story called Every Day's a Birthday. <laughs> Once upon a time, Hansel and Gretel decided to have a birthday every day. And I'm going to go first. And I'm tomorrow. Fantastic. We've got everything we need. Uh, what about guests? Oh, yeah. I almost forgot. <laughs> <laughs> 
We can be the guests. Yeah, but we need a present. How about this harmonica? Perfect. Go, go kitty kitties, kitties, let's go. Happy birthday, Hansel. Hansel. Thank you. Who wants to play a game? <gasps> Pin the tail on the elephant? I love that game. <laughs> Watch and learn, Kate. I'm the best at this. <laughs> yeah, you're the best. Oops. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Hansel. Happy birthday to you. Oh, hooray! Wonderful. <laughs> Have some cake. Thanks. Yummy. Mm. I could eat this every day. Time to open your present. Oh, yeah. I love birthdays. Great, because tomorrow is my turn for a birthday. And then mine. And then mine. And so the next day, Gretel celebrated her special day. Surprise! Oh, a party? I had no idea. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Gretel. Happy birthday to you. And many more. And so the next day, and the next day, and the next day, it was party time. Again. And again. And again. And again. And again. Thirty birthdays later. Good morning, Kit. Your turn. Again? Mm, I think the elephant has enough tails now. Let me guess. Another harmonica. <laughs> oh no, not more cake. Yeah, can I have something else? Like a salad? Sorry. All we have is cake. This doesn't feel special anymore. That's because special isn't special if it isn't special. So true. So true. Maybe tomorrow we can just have a normal day? Yeah, porridge and then the park. Yay! Yay! Normal day! Why didn't we think of this 29 birthdays ago? I guess the birthday every day isn't such a great idea. Yeah, because then it won't be special. Don't worry. There are lots of other special days in the year, like Christmas. Yeah! When is that? In four months. That's like forever, too. How about now? Is it closer now? <laughs> <laughs> there are my kittens. What's the matter? Mom won't play with us, Grandpa. Yeah, she says she's too busy taking care of Dad. All he's got is the dumb old flu. Yeah, that stinks. She didn't want to play with me either. How about we play together? Can we make up a story? About a kangaroo? Yeah, whose parents didn't pay any attention to him. And we can call it, Pay Attention to Me. <laughs> <laughs> In a land far, far away, there once lived a kangaroo family. And they loved playing together. One day, baby Joey was born. Goochie, goochie, goo. <laughs> Soon, Roo felt like his parents never had any time for him. Mom, want to play bungo? Sorry, Roo. I need to feed your baby sister right now. Again. Dad, will you play bungo with me? I can't right now. I need to change your sister's diaper. Again? How about when you're done? Sorry, but Mom and I need to go out shopping after this. But we'll find you a sitter. Maybe the sitter can play bungo with you. Hey, we can be the sitters and play bungo with Rue. And what about taking care of the baby? Piece of cake, Grandpa. How hard could it be? Go, 
kitty kitties, let's go! Hi, we're the sitters. Great, we won't be long. Milk is in the kitchen and diapers are next to the crib. Take your time. We got this. Okay, Rue, it's time for you and us to play. Finally, I get some attention. Let's play Bungo. Sure, you're first. Pick one of the pieces. Ugh. Don't worry, we got this. Why is she crying? She's probably hungry. Oh, I'll get her milk. What is that? Milk. She can't drink cold milk from a glass. She needs a warm bottle. Here you go, baby. See? This is easy. Let's get back to our game. Now what? He you! What's that smell? She pooped. That's what babies do. A lot. You need to change her diaper. You take it off. No, you take it off. No, you. Ugh, get out of the way. It's okay, baby. Big Brother is changing your diaper. Yeah. There you go. All clean. Why don't you take a nap? That was easy. Shh. Let's get back to our game. It's my turn. Sorry. It's okay. It's okay, baby. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, she won't stop. She likes when my parents carry her and rock her like this. Well, taking care of babies is a lot of work. No kidding. Hi, we're home. Shh. What's that? It's a present. For you. Wow, it's the bowling set I wanted. We know that Baby has been getting so much of our attention lately. We think it's time that you get some. Let's play. I know you want to play, Mom, but right now I need to get my sister to sleep. Good night, sweetie. <laughs> what a great story, Grandpa. Hey, Kit, let's see if Mom can use some help taking care of Dad. Good idea. It's a lot of work. But then who's going to pay attention to me? You want us to bring you some more milk? That sounds nice. But we don't change diapers. <laughs> hey! Nice fort you built there, kittens. Flippy built it. Hi, honey. Mm-hmm. No problem. See you soon. What did Mom want? She wants me to make dinner, so... I'll order pizza. Yay! Done. Let's make up a story until Mom gets home. What about? About Flippy. And what should we call the story? Good idea, Flippy. We'll call it Beep, Beep, Beep. <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a robot named Flippy. With his stretchy arms and tools, Flippy could be very handy. One day, Flippy saw a commercial on TV about Beaver Bob. Do you like to build? Are you handy with tools? Then Beaver Bob wants you on Beaver Bob's Building Brigade. Yes, you! I want to build, too. Yeah, I'm sure Beaver Bob would love to have us in his building brigade. Go, go kitty kitties, kitties, let's go! Hi, Bob. We heard you're looking for builders. I sure am. Then we're your kitties. Great! I want you two to work with Flippy here as a team. What do we do first? Hang this swing nice and low so little kids can get on it. Let's do, do it. it! Here are your tools. Hold them, Flippy. Ow! I said hold it! Oh, ow! Ooh, I, ooh. <laughs> Make sure to hang it nice and low, Flippy, like Bob said. Hmm, that swing is way too high. I told you to hang it low. We told him to hang it low. 
Okay, we'll fix the swing later. For now, let's try moving on to your next job. I need you to attach the slide over here and build a ladder back there so kids can climb up to the platform. Go, go, go! Now, Flippy, make it tall so it reaches all the way up to the platform. Tall. Understand? Great. We'll go attach the slide. Slide's in place, just like I told you. Now let's take a look at the ladder. That's one fine ladder for a dollhouse, but it's too small for the slide. We told Flippy to make a tall ladder. Can't we just work without Flippy? No, you're a team. You need to figure out how to communicate with each other. I'll give you one more chance. Fill up the sandbox. Kate, maybe we should speak slower? Flippy? Stand up. Tall. <laughs> okay, stay right there. He does the opposite every time. Hey, wait a second. If we ask Flippy to do the opposite of what we want, maybe he'll do what we really want. Yeah, let's try it. Flippy, be very quiet. <laughs> All right! To the sandbox! The sand has to be dumped inside, so we'll tell Flippy the opposite. Flippy, please dump the sand outside of the sandbox. Yes! Well done! So you figured out how to work together? Yeah, watch! Flippy, hang the swing high up, please. Just a little higher, okay? Good job, Building Brigade. Wait, I mean, bad job, Flippy. Great story, Dad. You mean lousy, right? Hi, everybody. Where's dinner? Pizza time. Works every time. If you want Dad to order pizza, just ask him to make dinner. <laughs> I wish my wizard stars would come out like yours, Kit. Well, I wish my hat came out pointy like yours. Kittens, why don't we take a little break and make up a story together? Okay. Can it be about a wizard? On a flower? Sure, that sounds fun. And what should we call it? I know! The magic flower. <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a very powerful wizard who offered all the townsfolk a difficult challenge. This quest is a test to see who's the best. That's me. I'm the best. No, I am. This quest will not be easy for any of you. You must first travel to Echo Cave. Echo, Echo. <laughs> and deep inside Echo Cave, you will find... A pickle. A pickle? Uh, no. A magic treasure chest. And inside the chest is a tree as high as the clouds. A tree? In a chest? He is a wizard. And on top of that tree is this magic Nolia. Whoever gets me this magic flower will have the power to do anything. Really? Really. Then I'm going to get that flower, because I want the power. Me too. Me three. Just remember. Uh, good luck. After many hours, they arrived at Echo Cave. Echo, Echo. But the cave was blocked by a huge boulder. No problem. I got it. I don't got it. It's too big for me. Out of my way. <laughs> I did it! I'm gonna get that flower all by myself. Wow, it's dark. Dark, dark. I can't see a thing. Thing, thing. Ugh. Ow. 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 Ow! None of us will find that chest. We can't see in the dark. But kittens can. 
That means we can get the flower. And whoever gets the flower gets, gets the, the power. power. Go, go kitty, kitty kitties, let's go. Move over, guys. That magic nolia is ours. There it is. There it is. There it is. Uh. Uh. Magic power, you're all ours. Aww. <laughs> It's locked. Now none of us will get that flower. But I can open it with my tail. Wow. wow! I did it. Time to climb up and get that flower for myself. You'll have to beat me. You, you mean, mean us. us. So much for that idea. Well, I don't have to climb. I can fly up there and get that flower. Ha-ha! <laughs> no fair! I'm the one who moved the boulder. And, and we're, we're the, the ones who found, found the chest. And I'm the one who opened it. This stinks! Hey, look! Here they are, wizard. So, you each used your own special powers to help get the flower. How did you know that? This little birdie told me. Does that mean we all get the power to do anything? Even better, you already have it. We do? Didn't you move rocks and open locks? Take flight and see without light? You each have all the power you need as long as you help each other. But it is cooler when you have the outfit. <laughs> nice pointy hat, Kit. Nice stars there, Kate. <laughs> <laughs>